Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are bringing forth timeless messages from your spirit guides today. Spirit guides, your higher self, and your ancestors. And we're just going to have a look and see what kind of messages that they have for you right now. Because this is a timeless reading, whenever this message finds you is exactly when it's meant to. Whether it's the day I post it or years from now. Keep in mind, these are general readings for the collective energy. So not every message may necessarily resonate with you take the parts that do leave the rest behind you may also want to check out your moon rising and venus sign readings as well for the big picture so let's get right into it and have a look and see what messages are coming for you wow all right well for one for one your spirit guides want you to have a little bit more fun here, Aquarius. Okay, you might be, uh, you might be going through some changes right now. Uh, you might be manifesting some new things. You may have new opportunities. You're perhaps really focused on your career path or some impor important. Um, uh, important commitments in your life, in your world, but there's also some spiritual growth here as well. It's a time of expanding knowledge uh, for you and uh, it's just a little bit of a shift happening for you here. So, um, you know, or you could certainly be getting the advice to make some changes, but this is a really powerful time for you right now. We do have the sacred temple right in the center of your reading. Your higher self, you are so connected with with your soul, with the spiritual energy, with your guides, with your angels that are all around you. Not to mention when we get the sacred temple here, this is also showing your connection to your past, to your ancestors, to your past lives. And your higher self wants to let you know this is an optimum time for you to really connect to your Akashic records, to figure out who you are, where your soul came from, what have you experienced in past lives, what kind of karmic cycles have you cleared out or, or are you still working um, on. This is a time of expansion, knowledge, growth, and higher level of connection for you. It's a beautiful energy. Your intuition is at an all-time high. Your higher chakras open and in full on receiving mode with this energy. The so meditation may be incredibly impactful for you at this time, working with spirit, working with angels, but also exploring some very high level knowledge here, Aquarius. Okay. So, you know, it's, um, if you were ever thinking of, trying to figure out, oh, what are the Akashic records? What does this all mean, right? What is my past lives? This is, you know, if you want to, it's a great time for you to seek out some sort of professional guidance, okay? If you want some help to access those areas or to do like a past life regression, awesome time for that because the connection is there. But you also have the ability here, Aquarius, to do this on your own. And there are, you know, there's online resources and help for accessing the Akashic Records. Um, you can do it on your own. Sometimes guided meditations are one of the best ways to do it. Just be aware, um, just be aware though, because it's not a light switch, just like any kind of spiritual practice. Some days, sometimes, depending what we're doing, and if we're very well practiced, um, we can click and connect right, uh, right there, right off the bat in like two seconds. But other things like your past lives and tapping into the Akashic Records, it can take a little while longer. So if you are on that journey, don't get discouraged. Keep on trying, but don't try so don't try too hard. Okay, take the fluff and the flutter out of things. Keep things simple. Um, because when we put too many rules and regulations or we have too much expectation, that's when things kind of get blocked a little bit. So we don't want to do that. Sometimes you may um go into uh this kind of meditation and you might not feel anything. And you might be like, well, I don't know if that even worked. Um, you know, and then other times maybe you just get like some sort of feeling or some sort of flash. Um, keep on going, okay? Don't get discouraged. Don't walk in with some expectations um, because everyone's experience is different. So keep an open mind, more importantly, an open heart, and just chill in the vibe. 
okay i think there's some very big doors that are opening for you here right now okay so certainly some spiritual transformation and spiritual growth coming in here but your heavenly beings, your angels, your guides, they all want you to have some fun, okay? To remember that even in times of personal growth, spiritual growth, transformation, the changes in our lives, the chaos in the world, sometimes the best thing we can do is infuse some super duper positive vibes into our world. Tap into your inner child, okay? For some of you, there's some healing coming in here. And it has to do with your inner child, okay? Or, you know, the thing is, is that we are all, as adults, quite often our belief systems and things, they're formed from our childhood. And we all we all always have that inner child living within us and he, your inner child needs attention too. We get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life and, you know, uh, all these adult problems and all these things. And we sometimes neglect our very precious, very precocious inner child. So have some fun, infuse some fresh energy into your world. And you know what the thing is when you do get out and have some fun, um, you raise your vibe. You're smiling, you're laughing, your heart is open, the energy is flowing in a super positive way, and things just get a little bit easier, right? And we tend to attract more positivity when we are in that vibration. So have a little bit of fun, okay? Now, you can also, by the way, make your spiritual practice also a little bit of fun, okay? How can you how can you liven things up a little bit? What, you know, what is good for you? Okay, everyone's on a different journey, everyone's on a different path in Aquarius, you know that more than anyone. Okay. Um, so how can you have a little bit more fun with that, with that spiritual practice? It's not all dark and serious, right? We do shadow work. We do all of these things, of course. Um, but you know, but it's, it can be fun. It can be exciting. Perhaps this means, you know, getting together with a couple of people. Um, as I do this reading, we're in October. So, you know, we do have uh, Halloween, Samhain coming up. Um, maybe there's something fun you can do with that. Um, you know, just get some different colored candles, infuse some fresh vibe and energy into your spiritual practice on some level. So as uh, whatever your situation is, feed your inner child, okay, and have some fun. But we do have some transformations happening in your material world. Your earth spirits really do want you to know that you have the ability to make some big, bold changes in your world. You are are yourself changing, you're tapping into all of the spiritual energy that's around you and you're bringing it into the 3D. Others of you, this is, you know, your spiritual growth. Yes, your personal growth. Okay, you're in this cycle of transformation and change and evolution. And this is both in your spiritual self, okay, but also in your physical world as well. Um, you know, perhaps you are looking to change a career path. Maybe you have, um, are attracting in and manifesting in some new relationships, friendships, romantic partnerships. Um, you know, this can certainly be a time where perhaps you're looking at changing your living circumstances, your environment in some way. Okay. So you are just in this cycle of change and transformation. You're shedding the old and you're making way for the new and the new that's coming in is beautiful and it's exciting and it's joyous. And uh, I do feel that you are just, man, experiencing this big shift. Some of you have been in this cycle of transformation for a long time, okay? Um, and again, things aren't, things don't happen like a light switch, right? And, you know, despite what Instagram and things like that would have us believe, right? Things don't just happen right there at the drop of a hat. Sometimes they do, um, especially when we've been stuck for a long time. It's when we get those tower moments. Okay, but you know, but um, but in general, transformation and change in a cycle really does last a while, right? It's little things here and there. It's little changes, minor changes, and then sometimes those minor changes they snowball into those big transformations. So there may be a maybe a lot of things changing in your present, but also in your past leading up to today. And then of course, in the future as well, but you are attracting all sorts of wonderful energy towards you, um, all sorts of abundance, prosperity, and all of these things that just are putting you in a better place, right? We are in the age of Aquarius, and it's magical. So embrace that magic within you also have the ability here to change and to let go of 
anything that no longer serves you to remove obstacles and blocks when we have this transformation here some of you are closing out some karmic cycles and it has been a rough and bumpy ride okay but when we get this particular energy this is spirit showing you that the path forward is clear that there's a light at the end of the tunnel okay you still might be experiencing these changes but you can see certain things clearly or you just have a deep inner knowing of where you're headed and what is happening in your world and you're kind of excited for the future right you're excited for the things that you're attracting into your world I think here some of you again you are clearing out and you are accomplishing um, some karmic cycles some soul contracts because we do have the commitment energy and this is really about your ancestors your past okay these are even your um ascended masters your akashic records when we have the commitment right what is this a contract okay so you are fulfilling your soul contract your soul's purpose okay whether you realize it or not and and for some of you here there is you know um you are at the finish line okay you might not be right crossing that line right about now but it is very close so keep on doing what you're doing keep on heading on the path don't be afraid and don't be worried if you feel as though you've kind of lost track a little bit you are exactly where you're meant to be so keep on doing your work because it's working okay you are fulfilling a commitment you are fulfilling a soul's contract okay and the thing is is when we do that um oh man there's so much magic um we get free right we feel this light-hearted energy and this sense of freedom so it's hard work right sometimes sometimes we we sign a soul contract because we've been here a million times you have a lot of old souls in the aquarian energy um and sometimes we've been here a million times and our soul contract that we've signed is full of magic and full of blessings and just a wonderful experience here on earth sometimes though we've signed a difficult difficult contract because you are an old soul and you know some aquarians i know will say, why has my life been so hard? Why has my life been so difficult? Like seriously, one thing after another, I deserve so much better. And yes, you do, but you signed up for it. Your soul, when it signed a contract to come into you and have this human experience, signed up for one of difficulty. It's because you've been here numerous times and because you have a lot of built up wisdom. How many times have you been told you're an old soul or how many times do you just people come to you for your wisdom and your guidance? No matter your age, you might have been 20 years old and you may have been giving some advice, whether solicited or not, because at 20 years old, sometimes it's unsolicited advice, right? But you may have just always have possessed this sense of knowing things. And it's because of your past experiences. So it's a magical energy that you do have. But that could certainly be why some of you have really had a very hard existence to this time. It's like every single time I turn around the corner, I got a problem, right? And But it's because you are capable and because you signed up for that. And with the rewards that are headed your way, right? Keep on doing what you're doing because your rewards in your future after doing all of this hard work, it'd be magical. A lot of abundance a lot of love, a lot of positive vibes that are headed your way in the future. So keep on doing what you're doing. The commitment energy is also your ancestors, you know, really kind of saying here that at some point in some past lives, okay, you may have had some commitments that were broken, and they affected you deeply. You may have some trust issues. Uh, you may have some issues um, making a commitment. But once you do make it, it's there, right? You don't go back on your word. You don't make promises that you can't keep. Um, you're very cautious about that, I think, some of you. And that does go back to some of your past experiences. There's been lies and deceit and betrayal and whoa uh some ooh, okay that's weird uh someone out there has had a 
very trying time in some medieval times. Very interesting. So if you have done some past life regression, uh, you may have, um, I'm getting an image of the gallows, you know, the gallows. It's quite morbid image, actually. Thank you very much, spirit. Um, but I think someone out there, it's like, whoa, really powerful um, in that energy. Um, anyways, but someone out there, you... Uh, were stabbed in the back, so to speak, way back in uh, some medieval times. I'm not getting Wild West or anything like that there, um, but in some medieval times, and you were wrongly prosecuted in that energy, and it was quite the uh, quite the traumatic experience. So you have um, some of your your trust issues or some of your um, past experiences really do influence your today, right? So I think you're very cautious in some of your energy when you do sign a commitment or when you do commit to something or when you do sign, um, you know, make those promises. Uh, you don't take that, that experience lightly um, and you don't enter into contracts and commitments easily either um, because you want to make sure that other people or situations around you are trustworthy. You do your homework, you pay attention to the fine details of things, and um, you know it's uh, you know because of some past experiences that you have. But the big energy here is your commitment on your journey, on your spiritual path, your personal growth. Um, you are in the right direction. You are fulfilling your soul's contract. So even if you've had a tough road um, in your past or even if you've had an easier time, right? This is the journey that you're on and this is an energy of fulfillment. So it's beautiful. Some of you are about to wrap things up here in this energy, okay? But we do have... A message from your future self. And this is a spirit energy. Your message from your future self says, Aquarius, you don't take commitments lightly. You surround yourself with people that match your vibe. People that once you let someone in your circle of trust, they're there for a very long time. That's why when people stab you in the back or, you know, they're living their journey, okay? Um, they are essentially doing what they think is the right thing. Perception's everything. They're doing what they think, it, they what makes them happy. Sometimes that affects other people negatively. Um, so I think here that you are very slow to let people right into your circle of trust. But once you're there, there. Those connections, the family, the friends, they are very important to you. You are possibly one of those people, um, for some of you, where, you know, you uh, you might be like the peacekeeper of your family, okay? You might be like the innovator of your family, right? People kind of gravitate towards you. Um, with your friends, you could very well be one of those people where quality outweighs quantity every single time. You probably have a lot of acquaintances, but very few that you really let into your inner realm and who really truly know who you are and what makes you tick. Nurture those connections. This is your future self talking. Nurture those connections in your here and now. Sometimes you go in hermit mode and sometimes you get a little bit introverted. And so sometimes you may need to really kind of step out of your shell a little bit, right? People may often misinterpret you. Aquarians are always misunderstood. Um, people may sometimes misinterpret you or your vibes. Um, and it's really when you're going in, in, going inward. Okay. But, you know, try and find ways to break out of your shell to keep those connections and to restore some lost connections as well. Okay. You may have had some people that have moved away to different cities and things. And if you're thinking about them, they are also thinking about you. So nurture those important connections in your world. But your future self also wants to tell you, okay, that your family, friends, and guides are always with you in spirit and energy, especially your past loved ones, okay, and especially you have a lot of spirit guides, okay, and, um, you know, because you've, you've been here um, numerous times, okay, so nurture the connection that you have with your spirit guides, Okay, they're with you for your lifetime. We have more than one. Um, quite often we have many different guides for different things and um, for different stages in our lives as well. Okay, and you know, depending what we're dealing with is who may come forward 
more strongly. Okay. And we also have our main spirit guide that'll bring others to us too. Right. So, but nurture the connection that you have with your guide. They're like your spiritual best friend, shall we say. Okay. So, you know, don't forget to do that because they can help you unlock treasures, unlock information, knowledge, help you through times of change and challenges, right? They're always there guiding you and protecting you. And so we do, we do need to take the time there to nurture that okay so <clears throat> let's see what other messages that we've got for you we have the eight of pentacles you're working hard okay you're working hard that's for sure the page of pentacles yep you're about to graduate and we've got the page of swords look at you all of this beautiful fresh energy that's coming in here for you the eight of pentacles is an energy of hard work and commitment but it's also one of learning things okay and also one of developing skills and mastering your craft mastering something awesome that this one has come out because the eight of pentacles is a card of apprenticeship okay learning but you're about to graduate you're about to level up in this energy the student is about to become the master okay the employee is about to become the boss kind of thing then it's through your hard work your dedication and your commitment on your life journey that has gotten you to where you are today you've never given up even in times of despair struggle worry and strife you have still kept on going have you had those moments where you probably curled up in a fetal position bawling your eyes out i hope so because it's good to get those feelings out right sometimes we need a good old ugly cry but Aquarius you pick yourself up and you dust yourself off and you keep on going and it's all about to pay off for you okay this is a time of enlightenment this is a time of completing those contracts this is a time where things are about to shift and change in your world the page of pentacles shows this energy of let's say, call it graduation okay leveling up the page of pentacles is on a quest for some knowledge to manifest things into reality this is good news possibly headed your way especially coupled with the page of swords that we've got there so some good news headed your way something materializing and manifesting in your world of course the eight of pentacles right up to the page of pentacles you are leveling up Okay, you're leveling up in your knowledge, your experience, okay, and you're about to forge the next stage of your journey um, in your life, okay, and it's very exciting. But the Page of Pentacles is very bookwormy as well, okay, and as with that Eight of Pentacles, so again, there's new information headed your way, okay? We've got this uh, temple that's here, okay? The spiritual information, the book of knowledge, the Akashic Records open up for you here. This is your. Uh, this is a time for you when you can really tap into that energy. But communication really is the key, the page of swords here, right? So some of you may have some really positive news, some things, right? Remember, again, things are changing and manifesting and materializing in your 3D world. World, the page of swords does show communication here as well but it also shows your ability and your opportunities to open your mind the page of swords also always has a very open-minded curious kind of energy right and you know is that uh, future thinking um, innovative, right? We do research, we do homework, okay? And, you know, it's like, yeah, that's actually really cool. It's a little bit of imagination comes in there too. So the Page of Swords is always up for trying something new, okay? Very Aquarian in that energy sometimes, right? So, you know, there's some fresh energy that's coming in here for you and it's what you have worked so hard to achieve and what you deserve here, Aquarius, okay? Um, because I think think here that some of you are about to get rewarded okay you know whether it's rewarded with that gift of knowledge or you know you may have some really big shifting energy here and you're about to step into a situation where you can make some more money um you know or you can even meet some new people Okay, as well, remember your family, your friends, your guides, meet new people, whether they're in your 3D world or um, your spiritual world, okay? Um, but it's exciting, right? It's very exciting. The pages always bring a certain level of excitement to the mix, okay? It can also certainly bring some messages, news, and communication um, in there with that. However, 
I will also say that the pages, okay, the pages also represent children. The Eight of Pentacles, you're working really hard, you're dedicated, okay, but with the pages, a double dose of fun. So again, just like the joyous fun, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. We don't want to be in that energy. You need to reward yourself for all of your hard work, efforts, dedication, and determination that you, uh, that you exhibit through your life. Okay, but you need to remember to have that fun. Okay, and it could just be that you've just been in this temporary energy because Aquarius, you are pretty fun to be around most of the time because you do have this open mind, right? And you are kind of always game to try something new. But you know, but sometimes you get in this zone, right? You really hone in, right? Because I think here once you you've got this quest for knowledge and new experiences. And um, I think once you, um, once something catches your attention, I think you kind of like zone in on that experience, right? And you just kind of like, whoa, and you just dig deep and dig deep. And the next thing you know, you know, 14 hours has gone by and you've been buried in some books or something. Um, so your spirits, angels, and guides want to remind you here to break loose, to have some fun, okay, to remember that, you know, yes, you work hard and, you know, um, to achieve what you want to achieve or what you need to achieve, okay, but a little bit of fun is where it's at, okay, we need to take a load off every once in a while, okay, we need to huh, just kind of shake things off and enjoy world, enjoy our life, so there's the next card for you and we have choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of your choice. Exactly. What what path are you following? What are your next steps? All right, we've got leveling up energy here. So you are a little bit more in control than you think you are. You may have some choices to make, okay? But uh, we do have the fives coming in here. So there is changes. Um, there may be a little bit of a few bumps in the road, okay? But, um, you know, but choose your path. There's your next card. And we have stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. In moments of stillness, that's when the answers come. Um, that's when we get some enlightenment. Okay, so a little bit of reflection and meditation. There's your next card. And we have patience. Be patient and allow the destiny to unfold at its own pace. See, you're right where you're supposed to be. It may not feel like it, and it may have been feeling like a long, bumpy road, or maybe it's been a magical experience for you. But patience is certainly key. Patience is a virtue, okay? But remember, things will unfold in their natural timing when they're meant to, and it's all part of where you're meant to be in your path forward. So your destiny is unfolding. You are exactly where you're meant to be. Again, your soul knows where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing, and you're on the right track. It doesn't always feel like it, though, does it? There's your final message here, and we have advancement. Yes, 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 yes. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart, right? We're moving forward. We're changing. We're advancing. We're growing. You're about to level up. So beautiful energy there for you, Aquarius. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. Um, if there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I still, by the way, have an image of that medieval uh, thing there. So I think I think someone out there, if you're thinking of doing some past life regression, um, you're probably going to end up in medieval times somewhere there. Uh, so just a little heads up for you. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching, Aquarius. I will see you guys next time. Bye.